Good afternoon, I'm back, Lutra FM, with another episode of the FM24 So Show Youth Only Challenge Save. Um, just a little heads up in case you haven't seen the community tab. I will not be um, doing any more recordings for the Dynamo, Tillabissi and Georgia National Team Save. Um, I've been looking at the data for the last week or two and the numbers have completely dropped. So, you know, sorry to the few people that have still been watching the series, I do apologise. Um, but unfortunately, I, I don't see the point in doing it if the, not many people are watching it. So at the moment, I'm ifing and on what to do next. Um, do I just leave it until FM25 comes out and not do another FM24 series? Obviously, I'm still going to do the Socio Youth Only Challenge because we haven't finished what we need to be doing. Um, hopefully, we'll get promoted and then that will lead us up to the next step. But we'll see um but yeah at the moment i'm even on i have done a poll on my community page um like a fun save to do for fm24 one of the, two, one of the options is playing a goalkeeper up front so i'm thinking of doing a man city save with edison playing up front on his own um see how many goals he can get um doing something similar but with the central defender i'm thinking harry Maguire up front for man united on his own um, if you have any other suggestions, leave a comment um, on the video. But yeah, and then the other one I've done, which seems to be the most popular one at the moment, is you doing a retro database. Unfortunately, I don't really have any interest in doing that because it'll be very easy to pick the best players. So um, it's kind of one, it's, it's an option I regret, but I was trying to think on the spot at the time. So, and then the other two options are the Sir Alex Ferguson challenge, where you take over a team um, who's like bottom in the box. Third from bottom in the Premiership come November, and then you've got to basically turn their season around and then eventually win the Premiership. But I think, again, that would be very easy, very quickly. Um, and then the other one is the what, what I've called, it's it's one I've named myself called the Steve Bruce Challenge, where um, you try and take up as, I, I, what I've got to do is try and take up as many teams up from the Championship as possible. So as soon as I get promoted with the Championship team, I resign and then I apply for another team whether it's it championship league one league two and then the goal is to get them into the premiership and then rinse and repeat basically until until fm25 comes out i'm swaying more towards that one um because it's different so I, I could maybe mix one of the challenges with the other I, I could do the steve bruce challenge and always play my goalkeeper up front or something stupid like that just to make it as hard as possible really but we'll see uh anyway going back to oh before i forget so just let me know on the community tab, let me know which challenge you think you'd want me to do for people to watch this. The Socio save is not going away. It's the one series on FM24 I'm going to actually stick with. So that will not be going away. Even when FM25 comes out, if I don't accomplish what I need to do, I will either try and see if I can transfer over to FM25 or just carry on on FM24 until I've done it. So anyway, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, but going back to the previous episode, with Socio, we we won three games off on, on the spot in the league, and then we come unstuck against PSG. We did put in a good effort against PSG. We lost three two, um, but we you know at the end they were playing PSG. Even though they haven't got Messi or Mbappe or Neymar, they're still PSG. They're still overpowered on the game. So yeah, we lost them, and then we lost in the league, and um, and we are currently third in the league. We're four points away from top and three points away from second. We've got a game in hand, which is going to be the first game of the episode. We are playing Bordeaux. Um, it will be a tough game, but Bordeaux are not doing very well in the game on this season, particularly they're near the bottom of League 2. So hopefully we will um, get back on track because we've lost two games in a row. I don't want to continue that. So we'll just see how it goes. But anyway, sorry for the long intro. Um, I'm probably just rambling on um, because basically today my, my dog Baxter is a little bit ill, so I'm a bit... I'm not with it 100%, but um, I need to concentrate on this. He has got a vet's appointment for later, so there's nothing I can do about it for now. So I'm just trying to do this. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, I'll be back in a minute. Right, I'm back. Um, sorry again about rambling on. Like I said, I'm not 100% with it. I'm a bit worried about him. Um, but he'll be all right. He's a, he's a tough little fighter, bless him. So... I will do a, a, a post on my community page um, later just to let you know how it went at the vets with him. 
I think it's something to do with he's gone off his food, so it's either to do with the weather or he's eaten something he shouldn't have on the floor outside in the garden. So he'll be all right. He'll be all right. I know he'll be fine. But anyway, right. Enough about dogs. We're here to watch me lose on Football Manager. So here we are lined up for the game. We're playing Kofi on the right again and Vaz up front. Uh, let's see how it goes. I've just recently started the um, FM24 Youth Academy Challenge that's on the Side Games forums where you basically take a a team that wasn't previously in then in the in the top leagues in that country and then you start with no badges, some daily reputation and you've got to take them all the way to the top league, win the top league and then win the Champions League with a team consisting only of players coming from youth academy so you can't sign anybody you can't loan in anybody you can't sign anybody on free transfers um you can't you know loan any previous players back or anything like that you just and it's not as easy as you think because for the first season or two you're kind of struggling for squad depth when you have all your players want to kick off and move which i've come across um which i came across on this save with socio but it's even worse with um the team that i took on this challenge which is called sc toulon because, um, oh, no, I apologise. I've got that completely wrong. I did try with SC too long, and I got sacked because I asked to have the junior coaching um, upgraded, and the board said, okay, we'll do that as long as you play your youth players. I completely forgot about that, and even though I played my youth players for the last 10 games of the season, I still got sacked because I didn't fulfil the promise, which is just a ridiculous bug that FM needs to sort out because it, it doesn't happen in real life. So I don't understand why they're doing it. It ruins the game, ruins any long-term saves. So I said, stop this, I'm not doing it. And then I decided to do another save with, do the challenge with HNFC in Germany um, because their facilities, their starting facilities are ridiculously good for a team in that in the German lower leagues. Um, they've got good training and good youth facilities and they've got like a 30,000 or 30 something thousand stadium as well. The finances are pretty good so you can get a few decent upgrades eventually. Um, but it's 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 difficult because like I said, when I did when I started the save with HM, A-A-C-H-E-M, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. Um, but yeah, they, they literally all their best players wanted to leave, go to bigger clubs. And because you're not buying anybody, you're having to rely on your youth players. And it gets a bit difficult, but I've just started the, the first season. I only just kept them up. Um, and then the second season, I'm doing a lot better. I'm like in the top six at the moment. So it'll be, hopefully, I'll be able to accomplish it. I've managed to do the challenge a few times before in previous uh, versions of FM. I'm hoping to get it complete before FM25 comes out, but we'll see. Last time I did it with SC Toulon, I managed to actually unearth what the media called the next Mbappe. And his name happens to be Mbappe. His name was Armand Mbappe. Um, and uh, apparently he was related to Kylian Mbappe. So I don't know how that even happened, but it was a regen that ended up being related to the real life Kylian Mbappe, which was pretty cool. But I don't know, like I said, I don't know how it happened. But I'm not complaining. But I only had him for like a season. And then he wanted to leave to go to a bigger club. Get in 2-0 Bastion again. Or was it Bastion? It might be pronounced Bastion. But 2-0. Good way to start the episode. Destroying Bordeaux. Poor Bordeaux in real life. But yeah, we're now second in the league hopefully we'll get automatically promoted i really don't want to have to go through the playoffs because no more if i'll probably lose Oof. but i hope you all had a nice weekend um my weekend was a quiet weekend for a change i didn't do anything the last month or two i've been busy either with weddings or um going out and stuff like that i did actually have to go to a wedding on saturday night i completely forgot about that but we weren't there that long, like an hour or two, but the rest of the weekend, like most of Saturday, we just chilled. Um, Sunday, we chilled as well, me and my girlfriend and the dog. So it was a nice, nice relaxing weekend. Oh. Ah, lucky. I quite enjoyed the charity shield match between Man City and Man United. 
I was uh, I was a bit annoyed that Man United lost on penalties. Um, I think Silva should have been sent off for his foul. I think it was ridiculous. Um, but it is what it is. But yeah, we lost some penalties, but we played really well. So I was quite happy with the performance of Man United players, well, most of them anyway. But yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to the new season. Man United's playing on Friday night at 8 o'clock, so I'm excited to watch that. I could have upgraded to get Sky Sports, but um, it was like £22 extra a month because it's like 50% off or something at the moment. But I'm just still not, I'm not willing to pay. Don't get me wrong, it's decent value, but I just don't, I just haven't got the money to justify it. So I looked at a dodgy IP TV service that gets me all the channels you could possibly think of for like £15 a month. So £7 cheaper on getting all the Sky Sports channels as well, but I'm getting all the other channels. So it's pretty good. Right, 2 0 win. Good way to start the episode. Bastion. Angeli signed a new contract. Uh, when is the next game? Ah, two days. I might as well just carry on. Processing through these days here. Apparently we've been delighted with the club's vision. So what was the club's vision? Reach the League 2 playoffs. So we've reached the playoffs at least. So at least we know we've got a chance of getting promoted. Better than we've done the last couple of seasons. Guaranteed to get into the playoffs at least. I don't think there's many games left now. Sorry, I've got ADHD. Well, not ADHD because that's the wrong term. I just I, I get fixated on doing every little thing on here. Some people probably just leave it, but it's just forced to have it for me. Right, let's have a look at the schedule. So we've only got four games left. One of the games is against Montepella, and then the other one is we've got Saint Etienne, and I think they're on top two teams. No, Montepella's fourth. Uh, Lorient's third. So yeah, so we if we beat Sentien, we've got a good chance of winning the League Two title, which would be really good. But we've still got a good chance of getting in automatic promotion as well. So even if we don't win the title, the main the main aim is just to win promotion. Would be nice as champions, but we'll see. Uh, here's the lineup: Naz up front again, Kofi's on the right wing, so maybe he's now adapting to be a inside forward right winger or something I don't know I haven't asked him to do it I think maybe the assistant manager might have but yeah very tough game against Montepella we are currently oh, I think we're, I think we're eight points ahead of them we're in a, in the white shirt for anybody wants to know Abdu with the ball to Kofi Japanese booked already it's only been three bloody minutes calm down good ball great goal Baz is really starting to hit form at the right time. He's starting to become a really good player. Natural progress. I mean, I mean, it was ridiculous that we literally looked like we were going to get sell him at one point. We're now top. If everything goes the way it goes, we are now top. I don't know if Sent and are playing today. I will have a look. Uh, FC Lorient are only two points behind us now, so I'm assuming they're winning their game. It's very close to them top three positions. Anything can happen in the next couple of games. we just got to keep winning out for the best. Oh, yes. Great ball. Bloody hell. We've had two goals that haven't had VAR interfere. That's a first. Yeah, who, let's have a look who's... So, St. Etienne are playing. They're, they're drawing with Orleans. And then, um, where's FC Lorient? There you go. They're drawing against Amiens as well. So, if one of them teams loses, then and we we carry on winning this game, um, it really does help our chances of getting automatic promotion. Oh, we're all over in this game. Angeli lines up the corner, floats it up. Goal, goalkeeper straight away catches it. To my annoyance. Yeah, Man United look like they're going to sign. Well, I think they've signed Mas Roy, Mas Roy whatever his name is, from Man uh, Bay Mini. We're on the verge of signing De Ligt as well. We're just waiting for the uh, here we go. Good goal, Pinto. Good shot. 
Um, so yeah, that'll help us defensively. I'm a bit gutted that uh, AWB uh, is leaving. I've always rated him. He may not be the best when it comes to attacking, but he's really solid when it comes to defending. And when we need uh, uh, somebody who can do, who's really good at tackling, then he's definitely stepped up. I'm amazed we've never tried to convert him into a centre back with his great tackling. But then I think he doesn't have the height to be a good centre back. Maybe look at that. Absolutely destroying them in this game. 4 0. If we get another goal, I'm going to go commentary only, I think. Get this game done. Uh, still 0 0 in the Saint Etienne and Lorient game, so that helps us. But yeah, I think I think, I think think we'll sign De Ligt and Masroy, and I think we're, we're still going to try and go for a midfielder. Then again, I do think we'd better off, we're better off using Toby Collier. Because he's playing really well. Casemiro, he's lost a bit of weight over the summer. And he seems... There we go. Good goal. Oh, there we go. Fine. I thought it was weird that we didn't get a goal disallowed. Come on, Javier. I'll do your bit. Come on, then. I don't mind disallowing this summer. Oh, okay. That's good. Vaz with his hat trick. Um, But, yeah. Casemiro's lost a bit of weight. Oh! Oh! Sentence and losing. Oh! And Lorient. Oh, my God. This could be the perfect result for us. Um, but yeah, like I said, I would prefer. I always prefer Man United to try and play the youngsters. So the fact that we've got Toby Collier, who's a pretty good midfielder, he's not as good as Mainu, but I think he's still solid enough to be a good squad player for Man United. He he could probably step up as well if need be, and I think he'd only get better. But yeah, sent NCN to lose. Ah, Lorient's drawing now. Lucky buggers. But it's it's fine because we're winning, so that's fine. We're showing it, showing the other teams we should be the champions at the moment. Pinto's had an amazing game. Um, ten point zero. He scored and he's got three assists, maybe four. Well, let's say four assists now. He's had them in the best game ever. Right, we can't take any more players off. Yeah, NCN is still losing. They might get a late equaliser though, so I'm not getting my hopes up. Corners to us, Muller. Straight in the goalkeeper's hands, as usual. I think in swinging corners doesn't really work on FM because it goes straight to the goalkeeper. Pop out. Paisley now. We're just seeing the game out, I think. 5 0. We don't really need to. Worry about anything, we've already won the game. Be nice to get another one. Pinto can have another goal. No? Oh, own goal. Pinto will take the assist though. Beautiful bit of trickery by him. He's having the best game ever, he is. Yeah, still losing. Oh, and oh no, um, I was looking at the wrong game. Oh, just over. Absolutely all over. Yeah, 1 1 in that game. It was a sent NTN loss, so. That means we're top, I think, unless they got a late equaliser. No, we're one point clear, and then two point clear is a cent uh, sorry, a, a Lorient. But yeah, Pinto having an amazing game. Is he under a long-term contract? I bloody hope so. He's going to get us a lot of money. He'll end up being probably one of the best right-backs in the game at the moment, uh, if the way it carries on. How long are we going in for? We're going for four years, so we don't really need to stress too much, I believe that. But yeah, he's doing really well. Right then, I'll be back in a sec with the next game, which is a big game against Set ATN. Right, we're back. Um, while I was processing through the days for this game, from the last game, the game crashed. So um, I think it was to do with these new kits I downloaded um, for this offline save I'm thinking of doing. Um, so I've deleted the kits that I downloaded and miraculously processed okay, so that's a lesson for everybody to learn. Um, so unfortunately I had to replay the two games that we've already played in this episode because I didn't have, I didn't save the game before the game, uh, before this game. So I've had to replay the two games, luckily we beat, we won both games again, um, but we are the, the league table is a bit different. So you've got Saint Etienne, who's been who's now in the playoffs, and you've got FC Lorient, who are now top. So um, 
if we beat Saint Etienne, we probably go top of the league, but we'll be joint with uh, FC Lorient. But then that means that Saint Etienne um, will be struggling to get an automatic promotion place. So it might work out well. We'll have to see. We're not. We haven't got. We haven't. We're not playing FC Lorient, so there's nothing we can do about that. But we just got to make do. We just got to do what we can on here. So let's just see how it goes. Hopefully, a nice win. But Saint Etienne are a good team, so we'll see. FC Lorient have a game in hand over the rest over us too. I think they're playing later on in the day, actually. So ignore what I just said. Uh, let's just see how it goes. First highlight goes to Saint Etienne from a throw in. Luckily, it's from their end and not ours. Oh, these kits are fairly similar in colour. I mean, I know green and yellow, but like. They don't really, they kind of blend a bit, so it's a bit difficult to, that was a good goal by Robert Stone from St. Etienne. Right, 1-0 down. We're now in the playoffs, which is not what we wanted. It's not the end of the world if we lose this game. We can, we can still get second place, but I think, I think it's pretty much over for us winning the title anyway but we'll see how it goes we've still got plenty of the game left we are on the attack now good ball and gelly oh if only that went to vaz or kofi there beautiful ball that might not be allowed i think he was offside so i'm not going to get too excited about this one we'll see ah, what a referee being a tosser Since Saint Etienne have scored, though, we seem to be the better team. So hopefully that works out well. Pinto with a beautiful cross. Valmy turns the player, gets tackled. Penalty, get in. Ah, we will. As always, we've got to see what VAR says. Come on, ref, hurry up. Right, check in. Come on, ref. No penalty. Typical. The referee is not on our side today. And we've got knackered players already, but they're not coming off just yet. Bastian, trying his best, bless him, to run down the pitch. Abdu, that was a poor pass if I've ever seen one. That was lucky, though. Valmy gives it to Thierry. Thierry to Masson. Masson gives it to Bastion. Good block by their defender. We managed to get the ball back though through Pinto. Pinto gives it back to Diagne. Patient play here. Good ball. Oh, beautiful. Get in. Never in doubt. Go on, Kofi. Kofi back on form now, which is good because last episode he wasn't doing particularly well. He hasn't had a very good season for goals scored this season. 15, he usually scores more than that. It's not bad, don't get me wrong. But he's usually better than that. So he went like nine games without scoring, I think. Yeah, that was... Yeah, you can do them shots all night long. Right, Bastian needs to come off. Uh, where is he? Ah. Right, he'll have to play that. And then you'll come off and we'll put you off. Hopefully some fresh legs we can exploit the tired legs of Saint NTM. A draw isn't the worst result. It does mean we're still seconds, that's good. One one. I think we might nick a win here. I think we'll be terribly unlucky if we don't get a win. Uh Masson. Can't take you off. Can take you off though, take Pinto off. Put the Brun on. I watched uh, Twister last night with my girlfriend. I haven't seen that for about 20 years. You forget how bloody. Um, I watched that as a kid being absolutely terrified. Um, now, as an adult, you find it a bit bland, a bit boring, but it was alright. It was, it was good in parts, don't get me wrong. Um, the funniest bit was the cows 
there's like these tornadoes and you just see these cows floating up in the air. I had to keep winding and watching it. It was it was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. And the, with the cow mooing as well, I just couldn't stop laughing. Get in. Go on, Kofi. Oh, come on, VAR. Come on, you, you, you can't screw us over again, surely. What's it going to be? Oh, of course. Referees really have it in for us. Valmy. They don't like our style of football because it because it means they actually have to get off their ass and do something. Right, playing it out through defence. Paisley gives it to Vaz. Nice pass. Matthias, terrible, terrible control of the ball there. Still got it though. Oh, look at that. That was a bit of techers there by Vaz. Beautiful ball across to Lebrun by Valmy. Lebrun, the cross is too, too much for him and Vaz scores, get in. That was a beautiful cross. The goalkeeper had no chance. 2-1. VAR can shove it up their arse. There's nothing they can do about that goal. We are top of the league now. Get in. Then again, FC Lorient haven't played their game yet, so we can't get too excited. We get another goal, though. We'll get excited. We know we're going to get at least, probably at least be second in the league. Valmy. Go on, LeBron. Beautiful pass. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Our strikers are on fire lately, I tell you. Kofi with his 17th goal of the season. 3-1, game over. Four points ahead of St. Etienne now. So that gives us a really good cushion for getting guaranteed promotion now. I think we're 90% guaranteed to get promoted, I reckon. We'd have to be terribly unlucky in the last couple of games. There's only two games left, I think, as well. Right, Matthews is buggered. So there's nothing we can do about it because we haven't got any other players to take uh, to take up, uh, to substitute and forward and use all our subs. But nice little win. 3-1. Right, let's just have a look at the fixture list. I think we've only got two games left. Two, two games left. So we've got Angers and Bastia. So let's have a look. Angers are in the playoffs, so they, they're a good team this year. And then Bastia is bottom. So we should be all right. I think we're pretty much guaranteed. Because even if we draw, well, even if we lose the next game, we're still one point clear of uh, St. Etienne. And we've got a game in hand of them. So they've only got... No, they've got two games. We must have three games. Well, hold on, what it? Oh, I'm looking at FC Lorient then. That's why I was getting confused. Um, yeah, so, yeah. So, even if we lose, we're one point behind them. Um, but anyway, I'll be back in a sec with the next game. All right, we're back with the uh, penultimate game of the season. We're playing Angers. We're currently in the playoffs. So, uh, we lose this one. Um, we're, st we're still going to be in a good position to get automatic promotion, but it will mean it will have to go down to the last game of the season, which we'd rather not do. I'd rather us get guaranteed promotion today and then the last game of the episode will be the title decider. Um, so we'll look at an FC Lorient playing. St. Etienne are playing, they're playing CM, um, sorry, SM Khan and then Montepella's playing FC Lorient. So hopefully uh, Montepella and Khan will do us a favour, especially Montepella. Because I'm not too bothered about winning the title. As long as we get promoted, obviously it'd be nice. Uh, a draw wouldn't be the worst result in this game either. And uh, Lorient's winning. So uh, it's going to make it a lot more difficult to win the title now. If we win our game though, we'll go down to the last game of the season to see who wins the title. Oh, unlucky. Go on, Kofi. Ah. Right, still nil-nil. Coming up to half time. We have been absolutely dominant over them. But they will have their chances like that. Is it going to be allowed though? Referee will probably allow it because it's the opposition. He only disallows our goals. Ah, I stand corrected. I apologise, Mr. Referee. Yeah, Lorient's winning 2 0. Sent Enciana drawing 1 1. So the pressure's on us now. Let's see if we can. 
um, overcome the pressure. Sorry, I was trying to get my words out there. Yeah, go on. Kofi, with his 18th goal of the season, I think. Right, so 1 0. We win this game, we're guaranteed to uh, get automatic promotion. But uh, they've got a free kick. Good save, pop out. They've got a corner now. See what happens from this. Headed out by us. Straight in pop out's hands. Right, it's break from this. Okay, nothing happens. Right, still 1 0. Still 2 0 in the Lorient game. Come on, Monty Pella. Right, Didot coming off. Uh, the battle has to come on for you. We'll put Muller on for you. And then we'll just see how that goes. <gasps> 2 1. Come on, Monty Pella, do us a favour. Let's get another goal and then we can just relax a bit then and hope for the, the other team to mess up. No, 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 no. This is this is not nothing to do that. I say this is not what I want to happen. I, I was worried they'd think that was going to be a penalty to them. Right, Bastion needs to come off. Uh, Kofi needs to come off. I think we've got anybody to... We'll just put Patricio in there. Thierry, moving, there we go, and then what I'll do in a sec after this highlight is I'll put Patricio in a more defensive position, hopefully that will help. So instead of an inside forward we'll have him there, as a wing back. Uh, hopefully that will help nullify their attack. Corner to us, headed out, moving. Gives it to Paisley, across to Matthias, back to Mugin, 1-2 with Matthias. Matthias, is he going to go for a shot? No, he floats it over to Patricio, Patricio only just keeps it in there. Pinto, get in, go on Vaz. Ah, VAR is going to check it first. Ah, see what VAR says. Goal awarded, get in. Right, sent NTN and win in, great. Monty Pella's losing though. Uh, Monty Pella's winning. 4-2. What a turn. 2-2 two, two in the Lorry in the St. Etienne game. This is a perfect result for us. Does that mean we're top again? I think we might be top. We'll soon find out. That was a complete balls up by Lorry in there. Yes, we are. We're top. We're automatically promoted. Get in. 5.3 million. Not that we're going to spend it, but it's nice to have. Yeah, Pinto with another great performance. Right then, um, the title decider is coming up in a second. So I'll be back in a sec for that. Right, we're back for the last game of the season, last game of the episode, and also the title decider for League Two. So let's just see how we get on. Um, Kofi's unfortunately injured, but I'm confident in Vaz that we should be all right. Um, Pinto obviously been really good lately as well. And Valmy's been pretty good on the right wing when needed upon. So hopefully he can be the first team right winger next season. We'll see. But yeah, sent NCN of winning their game. Not that that matters now, because we've only got to concentrate on Lorient and us, obviously. So I'll have a look in a second. We're playing bottom of the league, so I'll be absolutely amazed and really annoyed if we lose this game. But it is football manager, so it can happen. And the pressure will probably get to us. Good goal by them. Aldogo Gage. Good player he is. No, I clicked on the wrong one then. Oh, but no pressure. Right. How are FC Lorient doing? They're losing. So actually, at the moment, we're still good. Oh, they're losing 2-0. Pressure's off, lads. The pressure is off. Obviously, if we can see the number one. Because... Lorient can get back in the game. Go on, Vaz. Ooh, nice try. Oh, 
Right, corner. Headed out. Still got possession though. Trying to keep the ball. Paisley, not used to being on that left wing. Doesn't know what to do. Oof, just headed over by Baz. Baz is really up for it in this game. I think he wants to score by the looks of it. Yeah, they're still 2-0 down. Good save. Annoyingly, this shouldn't be happening. We should not be getting destroyed here by Bastia. Um, we're so lucky that FC Lorient are losing to Angus at the moment. Um, time to worry is if FC Lorient gets a goal back. I think we won't lose this one unless they score now. No, I think we'll get a point out of this. We've just got to come back in the second half, firing on all cylinders. We are missing Kofi. That is clear. But as long as Lorient lose, we're going to win the title anyway. So it won't be the end of the world. Go straight to our goalkeeper, pop out. Plays it out for, uh, to Bastian. Building from the midfield, Valmy. Gives it to Matthews. We've got quite a few. Oh, we've got two players on the yellow card. Lebrun. Everyone getting a touch here. I feel like it's going to be a goal coming up in a second. It's one of them beautiful team goals. Did up. Bastian. Gets the pass in. Yes! Go on, Did up. No VAR checks either, which is good. 1-1. One, one. Oh, it's 2-1 in the Lorient game. Come on, we need to get a, we need to get a winner here. Valmy with the corner. Oh. Right, did that needs to come off. Uh, who do we, oh, Kofi is available. We can put him on at some point if we need to. Vaz is not exactly playing well in this game, unfortunately. He's been playing well the last couple of games. I think if he gets a clear cut chance, he might he'll probably bury it. Matthews, beautiful pass to Valmy. Valmy loses the ball but gets it back. Thierry, Bastian, go on, go for it. Oh, that was a clear. That's a clear penalty if I've ever seen one. No, he's not faking an injury. That's that. That was a really bad tackle. Yes, get in. Bloody faking an injury, my ass. Right, who's taking the penalty fast? Go on, Vaz. Oh, Vaz, what are you doing? Why didn't you go for the rebound? Why did you just stand there? Right, Vaz is coming off. Sorry, mate. You're coming off. It's your time now, Kofi. You need to become a hero. Clinch the title for the Alor for the Socho fans. You've been here at the start, Kofi. You need to be that man that, that comes to rescue. Oh, Angeli. Angeli need to become an instant legend at Socho. Right, 2-1 still. So that is good. Even if it ends 2-2 um, and we draw our game, we still win, I think. I could be wrong on that one, but I think it's true. I think we're going to score here. Bastian. Go on. Yes, get in, Valmy. Valmy becomes an instant legend at Socho. Could score the winner here. Bastion. Penalty. By the way, I am looking in the next couple of weeks um, when I get paid, I am looking to get the brand new uh, uh, no penalty. Um, brand new Socho home shirt. Might even get the away shirt as well. I'll see if the, the club will do me a deal or something. But it will take a few weeks because it is coming from France. So, But yeah, hopefully in about a month's time Good, good, good save there by Papal there. Very important save this late into the game. But yeah, hopefully I'll have the home shirt at least in the next three or four weeks maybe. I'll order it in a couple of weeks' time. Oh, we can't take more players off. Okay. Right, what we need to do then is... 
Right, he's very defensive. There we go. Right, we've just got to hope for luck now. We're down to 10 men. They seem to be all over us now, which is typical. Oh, for God's sake. Right. Yeah, Lorient's still losing though, so that's good. The only the only thing I worry about is if they get a late equaliser and then we get we concede a late goal and then Lorient's um gets a late winner, but we'll see. Oh, two two. Come on, VAR. You've messed us up all season. Come on. All is forgiven if you disallow this. No, you arseholes. Alright. we just got to hope that Lorien doesn't get a winner here. Come on. Can we get a late winner out of nowhere? You never know. Bastion. Yes! Go on, Kofi! Get in! 3-2. Lorient's losing anyway, so we don't need to worry now. We are the champions, we are the champ, we are the champions, here we go, well deserved, proud of my boys, Kofi, Vaz, Bastion, Popal, they've all been there from the beginning, they've all become wise old heads for the youngsters like Vaz and that, um, but yeah, really, really proud of my achievement here, finally hit the, the big time, Ooh. Champions, champions, way away, away, champions. Right, anyway, that's enough of that. Right. Get in. What a season. What an absolute great season. Pinto's out for eight weeks, so that's not good. We could have done without that. Broken collarbone, poor bugger. Mathis is out for four weeks. Look at this. End of the season now. Right then, let's just have a look, little look through what happens. So we win, we won the league by three points in the end. Um, our top goal scorer was Kofi with 19. Our best player overall was William Pinto. 10 assists, one goal, um, 7.43. He never really had a bad game. He was amazing. Best, most assists was Bastian. Uh, he's been a great servant to the club. I really don't want to. I really don't want to sell him. There's a core of players I really don't want to sell, like Popal. But then Popal's not good enough, so I think Popal might end up leaving eventually. Anyway, there is interest in Popal, but it's whether I've got any goalkeepers that are as good as him that can take his place. Uh, Ru Ruolt's pretty good, and then we've got this player here called Martin Murray. I think Martin Murray might end up being the natural. Uh, replacement for pop out but we'll try pop out next season see how it goes if we get a decent offer for we might sell him but i definitely want to sell i'm never going to sell kofi if i can get away with it i don't want to sell pinto um or bastia they're the three players i want to keep at the club probably diagne as well if i can and so they start deteriorate when they start deteriorating then i will uh worst discipline is thierry with 16 yellow cars naughty boy no red cars though so at least there's that right i better save this before i forget so um Anyway, on that note, thank you to everyone who's been watching the series from the start. It will continue. We are now getting to where we want to be. We're in the top league of France now. So that's where the real work comes in. And that's where we try and mount a uh, title challenge and also European challenge eventually as well. We want to win the title and the Champions League with um, Socho. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you as always for watching. I'll be back tomorrow with a, a start of a new season in League 1. Um, I will let you know about anything happen in pre-season, whether it's transfers out or anything interesting happening in general in the pre-season. Um, but other than that, it'll, next episode will just be basically the start of the, the new season. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. I know it's been a bit of a longer episode than usual, but as you can imagine, it will be with it being an end-of-season special. Uh, like I said, I'll be back tomorrow. All the best. Bye.